Hi there, thank you very much for joining me again. Today I'm going to be doing another of the 8 by 8 inch square canvas board paintings and it's going to be an abstract acrylic and I'm inspired today because here in Great Britain it's actually been snowing this morning which some people love, personally I do and I've been out already and fed some local geese and ducks and I just looked at the colours and thought I'm going to do another painting and I'm going to use the colours I've seen today. So I shall give you a list of the colours in the description and please enjoy the video. Thank you. Firstly I'm just preparing the board with a good coat of titanium white acrylic paint. I've covered the board and I'm using my largest palette knife just to scrape it across the board. Uh, this eliminates some of the weave that you'll see on the canvas board and gives it a smoother finish and it also creates interesting areas of texture that we can enjoy playing with when we start to add colour with paint and acrylic inks in a minute. Okay, so I'm planning to use a mixture of paints and acrylic inks. I'm not exactly sure what colours yet. Um, I've mixed up here a nice little pile of very pale blue paint, which is a mixture of the titanium white and a little bit of ultramarine. And I'm just going to take it across this board and start creating a little bit of a sky effect. The sky was extremely pale blue. The sun was sort of coming through, but it was really pale. So I was sticking with those wintry sort of shades, which suggest themselves as a cold day. So I'm taking that up from that little line that I've created. Uh, when I used the knife and pulled it across, I did some lines just to give me a rough idea of a sort of landscape. Now this I wouldn't normally use, but it's a sort of blush pink colour and the sky had pink in it, so I've added that. Now along that line, the other line, I'm just dropping some of the beautiful um, acrylic ink and it's a transparent raw umber and I'm just letting it run right the way to the end of that board. There we go, we can see it's sort of sinking into the paint paint is still wet and now I'm just going to use the spray and just help that to move and look at the interesting shapes it's already making looks beautiful I'm just doing a bit of tilting to get that moving just a little bit more spray just to get it uh, moving in the direction I want it to And I'm just using this spatula now, my favourite little catalyst spatula, just to pull some of the colour into the white paint. And this is just going to soften that background. I want it to look a little bit like a tree line and pulling down a little bit just creates a little bit of shadow as well. It starts to mix the colour into the different areas. Using the knife again, I'm just adding a little bit more white and pulling that out right up to that top. It's getting paler as further I pull it obviously and that's fine it just gives that sense of colour. Now I'm going to scrape into that paint and create some interesting layers. Using a knife it's very easy to do that. And now that lovely blue colour that I mixed up for the sky, I'm going to put some in the foreground. We can imagine that this is water or snow, doesn't really matter. And then to add a little bit of depth, going in with some Prussian blue and just pulling it into that white paint just beneath that tree line. And now just pulling it down again. Reflections. I probably should have used the larger palette knife for this, but it's good for getting into little details. There we go. I don't mind even if I pull some of that brown down. It just creates the shadows. And now using the larger knife again, bringing that colour down. You see how much easier it is with the larger knife. And just keep pulling that, grazing the paint down. And to add a little bit of that pink, that blush colour, just to represent what we put in the sky, just balances that out. And back in now with the ink, the transparent raw umber, just to give it that depth and you can see it's just dropping in really nicely there just in a few places. I'm not going to spray this this time what I'm going to do is just tap the board just to help it to move 
and start going into those areas. You can see it's moving quite nicely there. Okay. Now I'm going in with the Prussian blue, just with this flat brush and just creating a little bit of shadow. Shadows are very rarely black and especially when there's sort of snow on the ground, they're usually shades of blue. So I do like using Prussian blue with the brown, create some really lovely shades, more sympathetic. And I'm just pulling it out, just working really randomly and just intuitively to see where it feels like it needs to be. And it's already looking a little bit like a landscape. I'm just adding a little bit more white again and just pulling down. This is a process, this is just continuing. I can take some of that blue and the brown up into the sort of upper areas now. We can start to balance the colours out. Again, a little bit more white. We've got an interesting line there, I like that. Okay, and now I'm going to use the knife and just take some of that Prussian blue upwards connecting some of those brown areas and it just balances again it looks a little bit like shadow in the trees in the heavy sort of bright sunshine on a snowy day it's a lot more blue and put a little bit of that blue down in that bottom corner with some white and mix that in with that brown area Again, you'll notice we've used a very, very limited palette, and that's great because it keeps the harmony. So all the colours that mix just come from those basic colours that we've used. And now just using a fine liner, I'm just pulling some of that dark ink, making little branches, little twigs. We've no leaves on the trees, uh, but we do still have form. So that's just adding a little bit of context there. And now I'm just taking in some of the the brown ink and I'm using a pipette with water and I'm just pulling that as you can see it just keeps it very fluid very very movable and just adds some really interesting marks into that foreground with the ink doesn't need a lot of water That's just so great, it's a really good effect. Take a bit across there as well. And now I'm using the palette knife to pull it further. And I've actually added a little tiny bit of Prussian blue onto the knife as well. So the two colors are going to mix as they have done on the right hand side. Just pulling it randomly, giving it a sort of structure of land. And now to some vertical lines as well. Again, just with the knife, just pushing, moving that paint upwards little bit in the foreground and it starts to push that right hand side the tree line back a little bit anything that you do at the front will push the other stuff backwards now I've mixed some Prussian blue and white and I'm just dabbing into this tree line area to create some interesting shadows little bits of effects of frost perhaps on the branches whatever you feel like remember this is just an abstract idea it's nothing literal I haven't got a photograph in front of me or anything. It's just what it feels like. You can take that right the way up. We've got all that corner to use, so we might as well use it. Just dotting it on there. Just very random. We can join things up later, so we can afford to just play about. I'm just going in with that little bit of detail, the blue and white mix, just to add a sense of frostiness of that chill in the air of a winter's day, softening it down, just playing with that, making it look really pretty. Okay, and I'm just going to go in with a little bit of raw sienna. Uh, this is raw sienna opaque, so it's a yellowy gold colour, but it's a really rich colour, so it just looks like a little bit of sunshine hitting the tops of these branches, and it just adds a little warmth to this wintry scene. I like the contrast and it's not going to turn green when it hits the blue because it's not that sort of yellow. 
add a little bit to the foreground just to bring that warmth forward as well and that's looking really nice now so I'm just adding a few little sort of water lines this actually was the canal that we walked next to um, so I'm just going to make it look a little bit like ripples just add a little bit of white a little bit of blue and now the last little bit is just of adding some more shadow where you feel it needs it and I'm pretty pleased with that I'm going to let it dry now and then I shall show you the finished result and here we are this is our final finished piece I'm really pleased with the way it's turned out especially now that it's framed and I hope that you've enjoyed creating a wintry scene with me with a very limited palette and very easy sorts of shapes um, do please like and subscribe if you want to see more and I will look forward to seeing you again very soon many thanks for watching bye bye for now